advice would you give high school players that are looking to be at the college level? I will say to number one, listen to your coaches because, you know, there's so much good information out there, which is great. Um, but the number one thing that I do in the recruiting process is, are you coachable? Yes. Can you be coached? You might be an all state player. You might be maybe in the third rotation of your high school team. But can you be coached? Can I develop you as a player um, to fit in our system, um, to be a good teammate? Can can you take direction? Are you going to be a player that always has an excuse or always has something to say versus just, okay, this is a task. This is where I need to get better at. Or coach is giving me praise on this. Okay, I'm going to listen to that and really – um, fine tune some more things so definitely listen to your coaches and just just soak in how to be coach coachable be a sponge mm -hmm. and just do your best to listen I think we're right now in a world in a society where everybody always wants to say something which is great and in my program I I encourage them to use their voice and stand on their own too mm -hmm. there is a point that you do need to be coachable um, so for sure be coachable um, number two is um, seek out any type of advice um, from people who've done it before. And if you don't have those people who've done it before, um, um, there's so many there's so many platforms out there that can help you with recruiting. Twitter is a huge one. So clean up your social media, mm -hmm. um, you know, put out your highlight films, put out your GPA um you know don't be afraid to reach out to coaches and just have a more personal relationship to see if you will fit with their coaching style as well and then number three remember that there's so many schools out there yes. there are so many schools out there somebody mm -hmm. wants you somewhere and the more you reach out the more you look and if you don't know where to look you can, you can reach out to me but I can also <laughs> help you point you in a different direction if you know Nebraska might not be this fit for you but I mean I was a kid from El Paso Texas and now I'm in York Nebraska uh -huh. so I didn't, I'm a typical Texan I didn't I didn't want to be in the cold I didn't want to be up in Nebraska but <laughs> uh, or I, I thought that and then you know this school I ended up calling it home so just kind of more of an encouragement part that if you know if you're not getting all the bigger schools or maybe you are and that's that's awesome find a school that fits your for you and always remember if you're not getting all the looks that you're wanting um take some time to reflect what are you doing how are you presenting yourself and what can you do to attract more coaches and then just just go for it um that's that's kind of my, i'm a big i'm a big dreamer and a bit i'm a big believer in believing so it's possible it's it's it, it's possible that's a that's very very good advice i mean like you said going somewhere that fit a lot of people like to go because of the names or this mm -hmm. or that but you can go somewhere for the name and you won't play and now it's your senior year and you you, wow. you, know, you look up and time has passed so i definitely yeah. agree with like high schoolers going somewhere that fits you that fits your style like do some research on on your schools do some research on your coaches do some researches on how they play to see if that fit your style so when you come in you can already have that to look forward to so yes. that's definitely great advice and lastly what type of advice do you have for collegiate athletes already keep working i mean we are in um you know, being a student in 2023, being a player in 2023 is different from when I was a when I was a college athlete. One thing I, I don't like to do is I don't tell my players how to feel, um, how they should. I, I'm going to give them advice and guidance, but I don't know what it's like to be 18 or 20 years old or 21 years old in 2023. Um, you know, these players are navigating a completely different um I guess, world of college yeah. athletics than I did when I played. So a lot of it is me listening and understanding what, um, you know, what are some things that they're wanting out of their college experience um, and what it is they're actually, you know, trying to work for. 
So advice to college athletes really reflect on your time and um, because it's it's going to go really fast, right? Everybody always says that, um, you know, you're a freshman, next thing you know, you're a senior and you're graduating and it's great. Unless you have that COVID year, then you're still playing. <laughs> but definitely take the time to really reflect and think about um, what it is you really want to get out of your experience as a college athlete. You know, we do, everybody wants to be that, that player. Right. Everybody wants to be the game, you know, the one that hits the game winning bucket or just be on that championship team. Absolutely. We all, we're all athletes. We all want to compete. We all want to be a part of greatness championships, of course. But what also reflect on what more you want out of your college experience. Do you want that personal relationship with your coach where, you know, you're going to be 35, 36 in your living room one day and be like, you know what, let me just call coach. You know, let me see how they're doing mm-hmm. or vice versa. They're going to be able to call you. So reflecting on that, um, cut out distractions that mm-hmm. that it will distractions just they they steal um, pieces of your joy at time. And when you do become too distracted with stuff, it just makes you feel bad kind of later. Mm-hmm. And my advice, my advice to any college athlete is if you really want to do something, whatever it is, you got to get laser focus and do it. It's yes. possible. You just got to become that person that you have envisioned and actually apply it and do it and don't just talk about it, actually do it. So that's a, that's a couple things of advice. I can go in circles about that for sure. <laughs> Definitely just a few kind of tidbits that we talk about in our program a lot. Yes. Well, that was my last question, but thank you so much, Coach. I really enjoyed you being on my call. Um, you you said some great things that I'm going to take, you know, and learn from some nuggets that you dropped on me. So I really appreciate that. Thank you for tuning in with Zoom and K Mitch. And I really wish your team, the you and your team the best, you know, this upcoming season. And I'll kind of try to watch you and pay attention to everything. So I really thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks for having me.